gluten, we can avoid gluten. Nuts, we can avoid nuts. Fish, we can definitely avoid fish. Soy, we can avoid. Dairy, we can avoid. There are, there are absolutely manageable food allergies and food intolerances. This is the first meeting of the Worry-Free Dining Club. It was founded by Sloan Miller to give others like herself who suffer from food allergies or food intolerance a chance to eat out without fearing what might be on their plate. Uh, first, you have to recognize the fear is real. It's not just in your head. You're not just nervous. You're not making it up. It's real, and you have a reason to be afraid. However, there are ways to manage that fear. Members share war stories about how they discovered their allergies and the meals that have been ruined by mystery ingredients. I went out and my mom had something that had soy sauce in it and I didn't think about it and I like put it in my mouth. I was like, wait a minute, this might have soy sauce. And I put it down and sure enough that night, you know, half an hour later, I was itching like there were ants crawling up my pants. About 12 million people suffer food allergies and allergic reactions result in over 30,000 emergency room visits each year. For people with food allergies, dining out presents problems at every step. I've had chefs, executive chefs of fine restaurants tell me if the waiter does not seem to understand what you're talking about, does not respect it, leave because they are the lifeline to us. And if they're not communicating your needs to us, we won't know, we can't be responsible, leave. Restaurants have started taking responsibility for making staff aware of this group's special needs. For example, Manhattan's Lily and Lou, where the first worry-free dinner was held, is among many restaurants that abide by strict guidelines to be allergen-free. It has even created a gluten-free menu. I think the customer really needs to be assertive, but it's also up to the restaurant to really educate themselves on the severity of food allergies. And my motto has always been that if you're in the service business, to really try and serve everybody. There's never a place that you feel completely comfortable. And this is, I think, the first I've ever experienced, or probably will experience, something that is just totally safe and you don't have to worry about and be wondering, you know, what's in my food. Once I've eaten a meal and it's delicious and it's allergen free and I've loved it, I go back again and then I tell friends and they come with me and my family comes with me and then I've gone there three times that week. <laughs> From the Wall Street Journal Online, this is Becky Bright.